Hey guys, welcome to part one of James Family Dreams. I'm so excited to get this LP kicked off. I released the trailer for it about a week ago and here we are in episode one with this family. So just to give you guys a quick recap, this was a family that I started kind of by accident. I didn't have any intentions of playing this family. It actually began with this cutie pie right here her name is Hayden, and she was a sim that I created just to test a house, and I fell in love with her. So I started playing her as a current household, and here we are now with this big, large family called the James Family. So Hayden is, of course, Mama Bear to her large family, and this little nugget over here making a mess is Chaz. He's being quite naughty at the moment. And sitting right behind him is his sister, Ryan. So we also have Peach, who is just getting out of bed and getting her day started. And then she has a twin brother named Bash. And then there's Dad, Aiden, the man of the house and they are just one big large happy family there is also one other sibling his name is finn but he has moved out of the house he's actually engaged and about to get married to his high school sweetheart so you guys um hayden here she's quite the creative sim she is a painter and a writer and she's puts her heart and soul into everything that she creates. As you can see here, look at this beautiful painting that she just created. It's gorgeous, um, and that's what she does. She has become quite well known in the community as a, a local artist who has just kind of taken the industry by storm. So her paintings are worth quite a bit of money and she gets commissioned to create paintings for different reasons, for businesses, for people's personal use. She's, you know, she's really up there in the artist community and she's also a writer. She's written several books and she, you know, brings in quite a bit of cash. So we also have this little baby here, Poppy. They plan to have her, but it was kind of, you know, outside of what they originally planned for their family. So originally they had the five kids. They didn't intend to have any more, but once Finn moved out of the house, Aiden here was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm really missing having a baby and I would kind of love to have another one. So he talked to Hayden about it and she was not on board at first. She was like, are you kidding me? Our, you know, our kids are well on the way to being grown. I don't know if I want to start over again. And he finally just kind of talked her into it and she agreed and she said all right let's do it let's have a baby and so here we are again starting all over with a brand new baby so it'll be interesting to see how this tests their relationship although you know they didn't have the best start it was a rocky start for them but in the end they are just completely head over heels in love with each other so if you guys want to hear more about their backstory I do have a video on that I'll have it linked so you guys can get some more information to see or hear the whole story and how they got together what happened and you know how they ended up where they ended up okay so Miss Ryan here she is She's an interesting character. She has a boyfriend. His name is Randall Fang, and they've been dating since high school. She recently graduated from high school, and she has started on the track of being in the political arena. She's really wanting to make a difference in the world, and she wants her voice to be heard. Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> so adorable. So she has gone on that path 
um, Miss Peach here has to use the potty, so let's have her come use the bathroom really quick. Um, so she's gone on the path to be a politician. Now, her boyfriend, Randall, he, she recently found out that he is quite wealthy. And it's something that she wasn't aware of. He never told her. She never really asked a lot of questions about his family because she didn't want to pry because she knew it was a sensitive subject for him. And he never offered up the information. And she was content with that when they were in high school. Like, it really wasn't her focus. They were just more into that puppy love and, you know, getting through school. She was focused on her studies. And so it wasn't something that she was really too concerned about. So once they graduated and she started getting into her career field, he surprised her one day inviting her over to his house and, she was surprised to find out that he has a penthouse in San Myshuno, which she had no idea. And that he's quite wealthy. His parents have passed away and they left their family fortune to him. He's an only child. And so it kind of threw her for a loop. She was really taken aback by it. And she really questioned her own choices when she realized that there was a lot about him that she didn't know. And he gave her another surprise by creating this room in his house specifically for her to practice speeches. It's beautiful. It's, you know, overlooking the entire city. And she was very flattered, but she was also like wanting to take a step back. Like, I'm not really sure, you know, if if I'm making the right choices here. So she really needs to think about what she wants to do with Randall. I think Randall is like really wanting to move forward with her and kind of maybe even get married. And I don't know that she is interested in that at this point. So she's starting to question their relationship and what exactly she wants because she's young. She's a young adult. She's you know, she's not really sure what she wants and on anything. Like, she flip-flops a lot. So we'll have to wait and see how this situation with Randall pans out with Ryan. It will be an interesting one. So she's actually working from home today. So she needs to discuss neighborhood changes with two neighbors. So let's have her... Let's see. what Her knees are pretty good. Let's change her outfit and let's... See if we can head out into the neighborhood and see if we can run into some people and, you know, see what their thoughts on the neighborhood are. So is there anybody walking around that we can grab? Oh, oh, it's Finn. Finn is here to visit us. Yay. Hi, Finn. All right. So how sweet. Let's invite him inside. Oh, we haven't seen Finn in a while. Hey, guy. Okay, so this is our older brother, Finn. He's the one who is moved out and is engaged to Mizuki. And their wedding should be happening pretty soon. But let's see if we can brighten his day, maybe give him a bit of a hug, because we haven't seen him for a while. And, you know, we miss our big brother. All right, so we'll give him a hug, and then... Can we ask him about the neighborhood? Oh, they're so cute. I just love this family. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. Political career. We can debate. How do we um, discuss neighborhood changes with two neighbors? Select discuss neighborhood changes under the friendly category. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah. let's see if we can talk about neighborhood changes with him. Because he does live in our neighborhood. They have a cute little house, Finn and Mizuki. It's just there's really not a lot in it because they don't really have a ton of money. Zamona's arrow. Oh, Arvani Boshi. All right, so we've caught up with Finn, but we really need to find someone to talk to about our neighborhood. So maybe we should go out or maybe we'll come over here to the park. 
Ooh, what's this? We can come over here and order a drink. Let's get chamomile tea. Oh, she's so excited. <laughs> she's like, yes. Oh, she had a good dream. She's feeling energized. This girl is on a roll. And look at that booty, though. She has got, oh my goodness. I don't know where she's getting it from, but yeah. Mm -hmm. She's got a booty a poppin'. All right, so let's get a drink and then let's chat up some of our neighbors and see what they're feeling about this neighborhood. We need to know. We're gonna come over here and chat up with some of our neighbors. This is Nicolette. Let's give her an introduction. Like, hey, girl. How you doing? It's too long. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm good. She's quite pretty, actually. All right, so let's join her, and maybe we can do some chatting. We'll be a little bit funny before we just, like, jump in with being so serious. Uh-oh, Peach is going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak with... And feels like being well, more nasty with yeah, other Sims. That's so out of probably. character for her because she's such a sweetheart. Oh, Peach. Poor Peach. All right. Hopefully you get out of that quickly, my girl. All right. So let's ask about her day. Let's get to know her. And then let's see. Let's find out what she's interested in because that might help us on our political track. Oh, she's a jealous Sim. Ooh. That sounds like drama to me. <laughs> so let's see if we can meet Pierce Delgado. See if we can chat him up a bit. Because we really need to ask about neighborhood changes. Why is this so hard? Oh. And we're, we're hugging. Okay. Okay. Okay, so while we're out and about, we get a call from Randall. He wants to take us out to dinner, so we're going to go ahead and say yes. So you can meet our boo thing. Okay, so here we are at an Italian restaurant. Oh, he took us out someplace fancy. We had to get, get dressed up. Why do we have to ask if we're single? What? Wait, he is our boyfriend, right? Like, I'll, it'll be funny if he wasn't, because I'm pretty sure... He is our boyfriend. Okay, so it says we're soulmates and we're promised. So I guess that's the same thing. I'm not sure. Do we have to ask? I don't know. We'll see if we need to actually ask. But look at this restaurant. How cute is this? All right, so let's request a table. Where do we want to sit? Should we sit outside or inside? I think maybe we'll sit outside because it's quite cute. We'll request a table and get our grub on. All right, so we got our table. Let's order some food. What should we have? Okay, so should we have, maybe we'll have a little bit of something to drink. We'll have some white nectar. And then for dinner, we will eat, what should we eat? Um, let's have... Let's see, this chicken saltambuca sounds good. We'll get that. And they're feeling quite flirty. These two are very much into each other. It's just, you know, kind of strange. Where are you going? How about you sit down and talk to your man? It's so weird. Oh. And boy, Chironi. Uh, okay, here's our table. <laughs> it's so weird. Thank you for giving us our table again. And then just kind of hanging out. And all right. The, the service here is impeccable. Impeccable. All right, so let's have a chat with him. You know, we're going to be like Victor. Not Victor, sorry. We're going to be like Randall, you know. What you did for me the other day was... You know, amazing. I can't even express to you how grateful I am 
that you would make a room in your lovely home for me, but, you know, I just, I'm kind of curious, why did you keep your life a secret from me? Like, what, what was the reasoning for it? And he's gonna be like, oh, you know, I just, I was afraid to tell you about my life because I wanted you to like me for me. I just, I didn't want to worry about whether someone was into me because of the person that I am or because of what I have. And that's always what I've been afraid of. So I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell anyone about myself. It was a secret for everyone, not just you. And she's like, I get that, but we've been together so long. You should have been able to trust me. And he's like, you're right. I do trust you. I was just, I was scared. She's not very happy about it. She's like, yeah, you know, I get where you're coming from, but you should have told me sooner. You really should have told me sooner. And he's like, you're right. I should have, but I'm hoping that we can get past this and move on because, you know, I really like you. I mean, I don't just like you. I love you. So, you know. She's like, yeah, I know. I mean, she's definitely feeling it, you guys. She's she's growling at him and everything. So I think these two will be okay. I think their relationship will survive the fact that he wasn't completely honest with her. And hopefully there's no other secrets that Victor has. And, you know, that there's no other surprises for her. And I think that's mainly what she's worried about is if he's lied about this, then what else could he be lying about? So hopefully there's no more surprises, you guys. But you never know. You just never know. So I think we're going to, after we wrap up dinner here, I think we might head back to... Randall's house if I am I calling him Victor oh my goodness we're gonna head back to Randall's house and I think she's gonna spend the night over there with him just because they haven't been talking to each other for a bit and you know I think they're trying to get back on the right track so she's gonna spend the night with him and maybe possibly be making some decisions as well it is 2 30 in the morning and as you can see Aiden is up. He got home from work not too long ago and he's about to prepare a meal. And this is kind of the ritual that he has gone through for a few years now. He is a chef and he's actually a really good chef and he's up and coming. His name is really getting out there in the community. He's starting to be in demand and he spends a lot of time working. So his hours are kind of odd hours. He's at work during the day mostly, and then he gets home at night. And so in a way for him to stay connected to his family is he comes home and he cooks for them. He makes these beautiful meals, this pasta primavera, and he has it all set and ready to go. So when the family wakes up, or for dinner, they have everything set and ready to go. So that's just kind of what he does. He's just, you know, he cares so much for his family. And he's kind of sad that he's not able to be at home as much as he would like to, but cooking has been his dream. So he's trying to find that balance between being a working dad and spending time with his family. So it's been a, a rough road, but Hayden has really kind of filled in the gaps and, and really helped out with making sure that the family is well taken care of. What's wrong with Poppy? Poppy, what's wrong, honey? You need some lovin's? So, you know, he's kind of sad sometimes that he's not home for like to help with the homework and and those types of things. But, you know, his kids understand. They love him to death. And he does everything that he possibly can just to make things, you know, as best as possible for his family. This is why they have this giant house. They didn't always live in a big house. They used to live in a really tiny house in Brindleton Bay. And, you know, Hayden and Aiden really worked hard to get themselves to where they are right now. So let's go ahead. I don't know why you would put these in here, but let's go ahead and put those away. And then let's see. You need to have some fun. So we'll have you come watch some TV. Let's 
why don't you watch a movie? Watch a movie, get your fun up, and then your dear wife, oh, your baby needs a diaper change. Let's change the diaper. Poor little Poppy. Oh, she's such a cutie pie. Can't wait for her to age up to see what she's going to look like. All right, so I don't know why you're wide awake at 4 o'clock in the morning in your bikini. But come and sit with your husband. And let's just spend a little bit of time with him. <laughs> he's like, this movie sucks. And he's tired. Um, but let's just have a little bit of a chat with him. She's like, you know, I can't believe... <laughs> He's like, I'm a parent. She's like, I can't believe we had another baby. No, no, we don't want to try for another baby. We're good. We are so good on that front. Um, but let's um, let's try to make him a little bit happy. Tell him a funny story, and just be like, you know, we really appreciate all that you do. He's like, I know. He's like, I'm, sometimes I'm just really tired, and I miss you guys so much. And she's like, it's okay. It's okay. But you guys. Do you see Ruby. Hayden's Luna. body? Like this girl is just Ruby. muscular. And I she does a lot of yoga on her own. I don't tell her to do it. She's just into it on her own. And yeah. Oh, look who arrived home after being out late with Randall, girl. Look at that face. She's like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Had a long night out with my man. And I'm tired. So why don't you actually get in the bed? And I think we're going to have you go into work because you're not completing your tasks. And we do want you to promote up. So we're going to have, let's see, are you tired? No, you're actually pretty good. So I think we're going to have them maybe do a little sneaky woohoo. Can they do a little sneaky woohoo and then, you know, call it a night or a morning because it's already Monday morning. The kids are going to be up soon to go to school. But before they do head off for school, let's sneak in a little bit of the woohoos. And it's rebate day. We got to go shopping so we can get some money back. I wonder if there's anything we actually need, though. So we're gonna let those two get their woohoos on. And the kids should be up soon for school. Uh-oh, Chaz is already up. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what mom and dad are doing, but I'm eating brownies for breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> He's like, yes, brownies for breakfast. I feel you, I feel you. I like brownies too, brownies are delicious. All right, so is Peach up? She's got to go to the potty. So let's go ahead and get her up. And using the restroom, Bash also has to use the bathroom. And, okay, which one are you going to? Because we'll send your sister to the other one. All right, so let's get those tasks taken care of. And then we'll have you guys come get some leftovers when you're done. And then it'll be almost time for school. Now, Chaz here, he is about to age up to a teenager pretty soon. And he is definitely the kid that's like very trendy. He's very into the trends. He's the popular kid at school. He's just, he's one of those kids where everybody wants to get to know him. And I think I need to update their outfits because it's fall. So we need to get some some pants on him but everybody wants to get to know him and be his best friend so you know he's that kid he is that kid and peach here she is she's just you know she's kind of a ray of sunshine did you actually go potty or oh no bash has a bladder infection oh poor kid Poor kid. All right. Hopefully that'll clear up for you pretty soon. So these two are going to eat. Oh, here comes mom having her steak for breakfast with them before they go off to school. Such a cute little family. But I think, you know, girl, Ryan's going to be paying the price for staying up so late because she's got to go to work. Oh, I guess we're working from home today. Are we? I thought we were going in. 
What time does work start? 8 o'clock. So let's go ahead and get her up. She's going to be tired, but, you know, that's the price you pay for being out late doing the woohoos with your boyfriend. She's like, no, I'm not ready to get up. <laughs> I'm so tired. Maybe if we have her grab a quick shower, maybe she'll, that'll help her wake up a bit before she has to start work. And then we need to have Hayden check on the baby. All right, kids are off to school. Bye. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. All right, so let's come feed the baby. And what what are you doing? You're just, you're sitting here, you're hungry, and you're just sitting here. Look, the family just leaves the kitchen a mess. Dad's going to come in and be like, oh my goodness, the things I do for this family. They just leave plates everywhere. <laughs> oh, he's like, my work is never done. But I love it. He loves it. All right, so grab some food because you're hungry. And let's see. You are, you have to work in six hours too. How, and you're pretty tired. So once you're done eating, I think you should probably hit the hay. You should definitely do that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to end this part right here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed part one of James Family Dreams. In part two, we are going to visit Finn and Mizuki and check up on them and their preparations for the wedding. There seems to be a bit of conflict going on between them and her mother on what they need to do to prepare for the wedding. So we're going to follow up with them on that. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you can be notified when I'm releasing brand new content and as always thank you so so much for being here and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys because I